Alright, so today I'm going to show you an awesome quick sequence that I love to do after I've run for about 35 minutes on the treadmill or use the elliptical. So to start, we're going to get down on our backs. To start, you're going to lie down on your back and you're going to lift up and do eight bridges. Keep your heels close to your booty, pressing through the heels as you press up and really squeeze the glutes when you get to the top. Feet are shoulder width distance apart. Next, you're going to lift one leg. You can either have it straight or bent and you're going to press through that left heel, squeezing the left glute when you get towards the top. Make sure that your abs are engaged to protect your low back. Once you get to eight, you're gonna switch legs. And to increase the difficulty of this move, you can lift your arms towards the ceiling. This is gonna create some instability and force you to engage your abs a little bit more. So if you have a hard time remembering to keep them engaged, lift your arms. Next, you're gonna come into a side plank. Use your forearm, it will be better on your wrist. Flex your top foot and you're going to lift and lower eight times, keeping that foot flexed with your top arm extended up towards the ceiling. Once you get to eight reps, you're going to switch sides and you're going to repeat the same exact thing on the other side. Feet stacked, keeping that foot flexed. Come on all the way down to the foot on the ground and lift back up, really squeezing through that side butt, which is also known as the gluteus medius. Next, you're going to lay down on the mat, bring your hands behind your neck, and we're gonna go into a bicycle crunch. Now, the key to a good bicycle crunch is to actually look at the elbow that is opposite the knee that you're bringing it to. So if you're bringing your right elbow to your left knee, you're gonna look at your left elbow. Uh, so really make sure you pull your belly button in towards your low spine. I'm laughing here because I kept hitting steps to my left and really point those toes out like you're gonna touch the wall and then relax, bring those knees in. You're gonna come on up for one last little exercise. You're gonna come into a high plank and if you feel more comfortable in a forearm plank, feel free to do so. And you're going to keep your feet flexed and you're gonna do eight leg lifts, really targeting the glute keeping your foot flexed, reaching up as high as you can before coming back down, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Then you're going to bring your legs out to the side to really work the side glute. So don't let your foot touch the ground. So you're gonna lift it up and just out to the side and back. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna go ahead and do eight reps on each side. And when you're done, you're gonna lower down into a forearm plank and you're gonna hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Make sure you squeeze your glutes, press your heels to the back wall, keeping your abs engaged, suck your belly button in towards your spine, press up into a high plank, give me one push up, touch that chest to the ground, and you are done.